everyone. We're about to go into BBYO's opening ceremonies here at International Convention. We are so excited for all of our teams worldwide to engage in this incredible start of our convention. The theme of International Convention this year is Together We Will. Our entire convention will be gathered together in one room to celebrate our amazing order. Eva, how pumped are you for IC 2018? So unbelievably excited, you have no idea. And we can't wait for all of you to see our fantastic speakers. We are thrilled to have the Honorable Omer Verliv of the Knesset, Michael Levin, Scott Rogowski, and so many more. Are you guys ready? We, we are! And so are over 3,000 teens that will be joining us here today. And with that, let's take it over to opening ceremonies. We will do whatever we can to bring you love, Hold your breath healing, and a world you deserve. Olam Chesed Olam Chesed Olam I will build, I will build this world from love. You must build, you must build this world from love. Build. Then God will build this world from love. Ya da 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 ya da da da. Olam Chesed Yibane, sing it with us. Olam Chesed Yibane. Ya da 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 ya da da da. Olam Chesed, Olam Chesed Yibane, Yada da da da, Yada da da. Sing it out, BBY. Olam, Olam Chesed Yibane, Yada da.
Representing Miami region, Lindsey Greenstein and Zach Kravis. And representing the city of Orlando and North Florida region, Sarah Cooper and Jordan Greenberg. Great pleasure. It is our great pleasure to welcome you, our brothers and sisters across the global movement, to Orlando and the great state of Florida for the very first time. Florida is home to some of the international order's fa fastest growing regions. And we are so excited to host the greatest gathering of our fraternity and sorority to date. It has been our honor as the leaders of your host communities to ensure that this week is AZA and BBG's best international convention yet. As your host communities, we promise to show up in a very big way, and our chapters definitely delivered. We are so proud to be joined by more than 250 brother and Alice and sister B'nai B'rith girls from across Florida. Welcome Aventura, Boca Raton, Davey, BBYO is a long-standing tradition here in Florida. 
home to the third largest Jewish community in the United States and the sixth largest Jewish community in the world. Today, at 40 chapters strong, BBYO's Florida regions are home to nearly 1,500 members and, pro and provide powerful experiences for almost twice as many teens each year. Many of our members are second, third, and even fourth generation Olives and B'nai B'rith girls. And our alumni are prominent leaders in the Jewish community and across diverse industries. We want to welcome the hundreds of community leaders and guests in attendance tonight, all of whom have played an important role in making IC 2018 possible. Thank you to the Jewish communities across South Florida for coming together to host our Global Ambassadors Week, and, and to the Jewish community for being such enthusiastic partners over the many months of planning. It is only fitting that IC coincides with Orlando's own historic moment. This week marks the 100th anniversary of the Orlando Jewish community. And while we are so excited to be here tonight and celebrate everything that the teens and the Jewish community have to offer the world, we must take a moment to acknowledge the act of violence committed yesterday in South Florida. In times of tragedy, we're grateful to be together, to grieve, but also to focus on what is important and how we want to make the most of each opportunity. This is a place where we can lean on each other, cry together, and ask questions about why these events continue to happen. But this is also a place where we will declare to the world that the we lead will be different. We can use what we learn here to support each other as we work together to finally bring an end to the moments like these and grief like this. We are going to keep the legacies of our lost brothers and sisters at the front of our minds this weekend. We will love harder, yell louder, and celebrate together as our way of honoring the lives of those lost and to show the world that we teens are resilient and determined to continue building this world from love. It is now our honor to introduce the people who have made this incredible moment possible. two international convention coordinators have put forth to build this one-of-a-kind experience. Hailing from Abraham Zomanowitz, AZA number 2538 of Greater Atlanta Region, your 93rd Grand Olive Sagan, Jacob Lewis! number 40 of Mid-America Region, Kansas City Council, your 73rd International Siganeet, Julia Paul! What is up, AZA and BBG? It is great to finally be here with you all in Orlando. Last year in Dallas, we pledged to change the game, and boy, did we ever. It has been an incredible year, and we're just getting started. We have so much to celebrate together, and together, we will. As we begin tonight's program, we want to send warm greetings to the thousands of people joining us tonight via Facebook Live and watching on our YouTube broadcast in JCCs, synagogues, and living rooms across the world. To our brothers and sisters in chapter meetings, hanging with your families, or awake really late into the night across the planet, we feel your spirit with us and we thank you for joining us for this historic moment. To all those Jewish teens not yet Olives and B'nai B'rith girls watching, know that this is your community. For us, together means you too. We can't wait to share all that BBYO has to offer. You can make this movement your own, and we want you at our side next year as proud Olives and BBGs. Never too many, never too strong, Together, we will. Since our orders 
founding 94 years ago, the greatest gift we can provide any team is the invite for the part of the movement to show them how they can enrich themselves in the Jewish community through BBYO. And every member knows we all share a deep purpose inspired by the seven cardinal principles, the menorah pledge, and the Jewish values of leadership, service, and community responsibility. We use what we learn in our chapters and from each other to go beyond and make the world a better place for future generations. Together, we celebrate the power of 80,000 Jewish teens across 600 chapters in 44 countries, perpetuating the legacy of over half a million living alumni working together to build the Jewish future. Our tradition is powerful. But let us not forget that the power and inspiration of this moment in this room is but a small fraction of a year in the life of our movement. I see is among the largest global gatherings of the Jewish people, but it is the hours spent in our chapter around the world that shape us. Growing friendships, celebrating unity, championing diversity, and fostering a depth of identity that cannot be matched. We're growing up in an unprecedented time in history, but like generations of Olives and BBGs before us, we stand on a platform of unity, leadership, inclusion, pluralism, compassion, and personal responsibility. The world is changing quickly, and we cannot, and we will not, stand idly by and watch world events unfold before us. We believe in our voot, responsibility for others, in chesed, the power of caring for each other, we believe in chinuch, the value of learning together, and in tikkun olam, investing our time, knowledge, and voice into creating a world that is more whole than the world we live in now. This week, we'll explore all the many ways we can make our voices heard and our presence felt as we work together to build a future that all people deserve. Your IC Steering Committee has brought together a top-notch cast of Game Changers. Hundreds of role models, experts, and influencers are here to work with us face-to-face -to, -face, to advance the dreams we have for our future. These leaders are reaching all kinds of communities, faiths, races, ages, abilities, and geographies to build alliances so that we may impact humanity for good together. It's when we're together that we are able to achieve the most. When we're together, we can do the most good. But first, we celebrate. Tonight, the Grand Order of the Aleph Sadiq Aleph marks the beginning of our 94th year as the Jewish people's largest fraternal order. Forever and today, welcome AZA. And this evening, we mark 74 years of an unparalleled sisterhood. The strong, visionary women of BBG have been shaping the world for three quarters of a century, and that tradition continues with us today. I proudly pledge to thee, welcome BBG. Our movement needs us to be the best versions of ourselves and to bring out the best in one another. Together, we must. Humanity needs us to push forward as a united team, ready to lift those in need of lifting, protect those that need protection, and repair society when it is broken. Together, we can. And as our ancestors did for us, we are working to secure a vibrant Jewish future that we will turn over to our own children one day. Together, we will. AZA and BBG, we're so glad you're here. We're excited to unite our passions and potential. The next five days will be jam-packed with learning, laughter, transformation, deep meaning, and a whole lot of fun. There's never been a better time to be in BBYO. Welcome, Welcome to, to Orlando. Orlando. It is now 
our pleasure to introduce to you the leaders of our movement, both present day and from across decades of vision and action. Please join us in welcoming generations of AZA and BBG International Board alumni. And your 73rd International Nasia, hailing from Aho BBG number 2383 of Northern Region East, Baltimore Council, Rebecca Sarabov. And your 93rd Grand Olive Gadol, hailing from Ramon AZA number 195 of Central Region West, Ron Hassan! What is up, BBYO? What of you, AZA and BBG? Welcome to International Convention 2018. Before we begin, we would like to invite everyone to please sit down, quiet down, and enjoy the festivities. We're thrilled to welcome you tonight. It has been an honor to visit so many of your chapters and communities this year. It is with great pride that we tell you and the world watching at home, AZA and BBG are stronger than ever. We can't wait to celebrate all that we have accomplished as we set our sights on what comes next for BBYO. Following months of traveling, we bring you greetings from our membership worldwide. We are so proud of and grateful for our members and the communities they shape and that support them. Your commitment to AZA and BBG is inspiring. We've seen firsthand the difference BBYO has in the lives of thousands of teens. We're instilling confidence in countless of aspiring leaders, offering a home to the unaffiliated and bringing meaning to the lives of teens everywhere. Since our founding, AZA and BBG have served as platforms from which teens like us can do great things. From here, we can pursue our dreams, influence world events, and discover who we are in a safe, supportive, and empowering environment. We are humbled to stand shoulder to shoulder with an ensemble spanning generations of AZA and BBG leaders Legends and role models, these BBYO alumni all served on AZA's Grand Board and BBG's International Boards at various points in our history. Because of their contributions, our order has flourished. And Lador Bador, we too will work on behalf of the founders and principals of AZA and BBG and the Jewish people, and soon pass the leadership reins to the next class of Olives and B'nai B'rith girls. We are so grateful that you are here with us at IC and hope that you'll inspire more alumni to reconnect with the Olives and B'nai B'rith girls of today. From the very start, Olives and BBGs have been building our movement to advance society and launch journeys filled with professions, passions, and projects that change the world in far-reaching ways. This individual and collective evolution is central to BBYO. There is a reason that a thriving movement is in constant motion. This year's call to action comes from two esteemed alumni that left BBYO with the legacy of commitment and continue to push our community and our world to be better today. Rachel Gabady, our 46th International Nasiya, is a prominent lawyer in South Florida who has dedicated her career to the legal pursuit of fairness and equality. She has fought against discrimination across industries and fields and speaks widely on issues of equality in the workplace. An alumna of BBG of Jacksonville, Florida, Rachel inspires BBGs across the world to raise their voices and speak out for what they believe. Mike Levin is the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Georgia Aquarium, 
He has served at the helm of many impressive companies and successful businesses, and we are proud to say that he led here first. As an alumnus of the Aleph Tzadik Aleph, Mike began his legacy of leadership in the Jewish community, and still today, he prioritizes programs and projects that BBYO is proud to be a part of. BBYO, please join us in welcoming Mike Levin and Rachel Gabady. My sister BBGs, Brother Olives, distinguished alumni and guests, welcome to my home, Orlando. Welcome to North Florida region. This international convention is very special for many reasons, but particularly because it is the centennial anniversary of Orlando's Jewish community. Over 100 years ago, the first Jewish men and women moved to Orlando. Where did they come from? Mostly Pittsburgh. <laughs> these families, these pioneer Jewish families gathered for high holiday services in a citrus grove, literally praying under the orange trees. And they said, Biachad, together, together we will form a kahila, a community, a community to celebrate holidays, life cycles, and to a community to teach our children. In 1918, the first synagogue in Orlando was established, and just last weekend, our community celebrated its centennial anniversary. What an exciting way for me and my family to celebrate and commemorate 100 years of Jewish life in Orlando by hosting BBYO's International Convention, the largest gathering of Jewish teens in the world right here. <laughs> and it wasn't, just, it wasn't just those Jewish pioneers in 1918 that said, together we will. In 1924, Sam Bieber said, together we will form the beginning of a youth movement, and AZA was born. In 1944, Anita Perlman said, we will, together we will expand the movement and form BBG. In recent years, BBYO has responded to global events and expanded the movement to countries that simply did not have religious freedom for so many years. Together we have built and we will continue to build our BBYO community. A community where we learn, where we lead. A community where we support each other in times of joy and in times of sorrow, as we do today, joyfully reuniting with our friends here at IC and grieving with our friends from Parkland's Douglas High in Gold Coast region. For me, for me, the BBG community presented opportunities that I continue to appreciate today. I met lifelong friends in my hometown of Jacksonville, Florida. And in, and in what was then Florida region, and North Florida Council, and Gold Coast Council, and Greater Miami Council, and throughout the US, Canada, and the world. Through BBG, I learned the importance of teamwork. We learned how to plan programs and figured out how to get people there. We learned to debate our point respectfully. We learned Robert's Rules of Order, which I guarantee knowing the basics will help you when you are in leadership positions in your communities. We learned so much about all aspects of Judaism, and we soaked up the magic of summer programs. I attended my first summer program at CLTC at Bieber Camp. At CLTC, I met friends who will be joining us this weekend or whose children are here tonight. After that, I went to Kala and ILTC at Perlman, followed by a, followed by a summer in Israel. 
And because of all these BBYO experiences, after high school, we learn how to use our skills to combat anti-Semitism on campus. Because of BBYO, I am a more effective member of Jewish and civic organizations. Judaism is steeped in me because of my family, but also because of my BBYO experience. It's not just in my synagogue, but in everything that my family and I do. Now, my friends and I have children joining BBYO, and we are delighted. Together, my friends and I tested our leadership skills, pushed our creative limits, and explored what our Judaism meant to us. You have these same opportunities, only with technology that we only dreamed, uh, dreamed of to help you leverage them. I look out tonight and I see that the future is bright for BBYO and all the Jewish people. Each of you brings your unique gifts to this convention and this movement. Each of you is one, and though only one, there is so much you can do individually and together. So today, in February 2018, what will we do? Whatever we do, we will do it well, and we will do it together. Thank you, and have an amazing international convention. Good evening, BBG. And good evening, AZA. As an alumnus of the George Gershwin chapter in Dorchester, Massachusetts, I, I'm proud to be with you all tonight. I am here representing probably the oldest person in the room, myself. I was in George Gershwin in 1952. None of you were born at that time, and none of your parents either. It was not an easy time for Jews in America and around the world in those days, except for the beginning of the State of Israel in 1948, which continues strong and able and need of your support and your love for all the years you have ahead of you. Tonight is only one beginning for all of you BBGers. You are on the road to preserve and protect the Jewish people for as long as your life. My work over the last number of years has been to help that, but we cannot succeed without each and every one of you. I want to thank you all in advance for what you are doing to be together, to stay together, to study together, to travel together, and to be the future of our people. BBYO will always be in your mind and in your heads for the rest of your life. The friendships you make, the games you play, the learning you do, the camps and the trips you take will always be a memory. Go on to your colleges, join Hillel and the rest, A. Pi and the other fraternities and sororities. My brothers at AEPI are here too. I hear them in the back, always making noise. Go on after that to birthright and join the other Jewish synagogues and organizations that can help you preserve what you will learn and how you will do it. My pleasure to be here to honor you, to provide funding for BBYO, and to pray that you'll all be on that road and do it successfully. Just remember who you are and where you came from, and I wish you all good luck. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Mike and Rachel. We are proud to call you our brother Olive and sister B'nai girl, and grateful to see you both as role models. Thank you for your wisdom, your passion, and your unwavering support for all that we do. We look forward to sharing the headlines with you as we make our own history in your wake. In recognition of all of your achievements and contributions to the Jewish world as well as society at large, it is our honor to bestow upon you Olaf Mike Levin, our 2018 Alumnus of the Year Award. It is my honor to join with Rachel Gabady, our 2008 BBG Alumna of the Year, to recognize another sister BBG on stage with us this evening, Tracy Reichman Kalik, the 44. <laughs> the 44th International Nasiya of the B'nai B'rith Girls, and a tireless community leader devoted to the vibrancy of the Jewish community and the strength of BBYO. It is my honor to award you the 2018 BBG Alumna Year of the Ward. <laughs> Thank you both for your exemplary public service, and we look forward to many years of your continued involvement. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hello, HQ Days! I am your host with a hollow French toast. The Semitic Sajak, the Meshuggah of Martindale, the Biblical Bob Barker, Stick Cabot, the Hebrew Steve Harvey, the Kosher Carson Daly, Quiz Khalifa, Host Malone, the Tevya of Trivia, the Trap Trebek, Scott Rogowski. Hello. Hi. Hi, BBYO. I am live right now, not on your phones, from the greatest city on earth, the city that never sleeps, Orlando, Florida. With over 4,000 of you, including my AZA babies, and my bad and bougie BBGs.
Wow. <laughs> I don't think we'd have trouble holding a minion here. I think we're good on the minion. It is such a thrill to be here with you guys. <laughs> that's me. That's, that's my name. Guys, I cannot tell you how happy I am to be here. <laughs> I can't even talk. I can't even hear myself talking. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I wasn't. I'm here. I'm here. I'm not in your phone tonight. I didn't host today. <laughs> All right. I'll take selfies later. All right. I could just stand here and look pretty, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know what's happening. Someone, yeah. I just want to say it's such a thrill to be here kicking off the IC with you on this holiest of holy Jewish holidays. You guys know what today is, right? Today's a very holy Jewish holiday. It's the day after Valentine's Day. Which is the sacred Jewish holiday, Rosh Half Off Chocolate. Big discounts at CVS right now. Stock up on your Valentine's Day chocolate now. Put it in your freezer. It's good till next year. If you guys don't know who I am, does anybody not know who I am? It feels like some, most of you know who I am. I, uh, I'm a comedian from New York who hosts a, uh, a game show on your phone called HQ. And I happen to be Jewish. I happen to be... Usually when I say that, I get booze. This is nice. If you don't believe me, let me just turn to the side. Hold on, let me just turn to the side. You see that? I wear my Judaism on my sleeve and my face. In fact... I feel like I'm wielding way too much power for my, uh, my, my own sanity. Uh, guys, I just want to say a few words here and tell you about my, my Jewish upbringing, if you care at all. I've been Jewish my whole life. Uh, I was born Jewish. I went to Hebrew school. I was bar mitzvah. I went to Hebrew high school. I've been to Israel twice, beautiful country, great people, decent hummus. No, their hummus is great. It's the best hummus. Numero numero uno. Guys, I was in a Jewish fraternity in college. Did you know that? I was in a Jewish fraternity. Usually when I say I'm in a Jewish fraternity, it's like saying I, I was in an ISIS boy band, but it's a real thing. There are Jewish fraternities. A.E. Pi was my fraternity. Any A.E. Pi here? <laughs> Rampant Lion, baby! Charles C. Moskowitz. Isidore M. Glazer. Charles J. Pintel. Arthur E. Leopold. Maurice Plager. Hyman Schulman. Arthur M. Lipkin. Emil Lustgarden. There are a few others. There we go. A.E. Pi over here. My Bronex. I'll tell you the reason why I joined AEPI, the reason why I joined the Jewish fraternity. I found the hazing to be the most manageable. The worst hazing we ever got was when they made us walk outside without our coats on. And the reason, the real reason I joined the Jewish fraternity is because the best part about Jewish fraternities, they don't believe in Hell Week. No Hell Week in the Jewish fraternity. I feel like I don't have to say anything up here, but I do want to really get serious for a minute if I could. 
if I could get serious. Guys, it all boils down to this, is what I'm trying to say. It all boils down to this. You know, there was a time when being a Jewish comedian in show business, you had to change your name. This is true. Mel Brooks, you guys know Mel Brooks? He was born Melvin Kaminsky. Jack Benny, huge comedian. Benjamin Kabelsky, George Burns, Burns and Allen. Nathan Birnbaum, those are their given names. Even John Stewart. John Stewart, we all know John Stewart, who's born Jonathan Leibowitz. You change your name because having a Jewish last name was weird, you know, it was hard. You weren't going to make it if you had a Jewish last name. Well, I'm Scott Rogowski, and I've always been Scott Rogowski. Until tonight, because tonight I'm changing my name to Cardi S. Call me Cardi S from now on. No, no, I'm always going to be Scott Rogowski. That's a promise. And for all you Jews out there, be proud. Be proud of your names. Be proud of being Jewish. But also be understanding of others. You know, we're not the only ones on this planet. In fact, we're a very, very small fraction, us Jews. So be mindful that there are way more people out there who aren't Jewish. But we have to be understanding and open to everybody because together we will, as a human race. We're all humans. We're all people. Be kind, be human, open doors for people. Always tip 20%. And whatever you do, take care of your shoes. I'm gonna run for president too, I'm gonna do that. 2036. Guys, you have an amazing conference ahead of you. I'm gonna leave you with this. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get this BBYO on the road, baby! Good night, I'll see you later. How cool was that? How about that prize money? Someone's gonna have a sweet summer. I know. Thanks, Scott, for speaking at IC with us. We're so excited you're here and can't wait to learn from you and all of our special guests. Remember, all you need to do is post your favorite IC moments with the hashtag ACA BBG IC 2018 and share them as widely as you can. We'll be watching for the best shots out there. We're so proud of everything we have in store for you throughout International Convention 2018. It has been a blast to plan and a team effort every step of the way. Our movement's biggest moment so far wouldn't have been possible without the partnership of nearly 300 Olives and B'nai B'rith girls that serve on the 2018 IC Steering Committee. It is our pleasure to introduce your 2018 IC Steering Committee and the International Boards.
Oklahoma region and Emily Kalodny of Lone Star region. Tonight, it is our distinct pleasure to welcome a very special guest back to BBYO after many years to deliver, to deliver our IC 2018 benediction and blessings. Originally hailing from Central Region West, Rabbi Dan Moskovitz served as the Olive Zodiac Olive's 65th Grand Olive Gadol and later was a Kala educator and director of West Coast Kala. Rabbi Moskovitz is the head rabbi at Temple Shalom, the largest synagogue in Vancouver, British Columbia. Vancouver is the last major city in North America without BBYO and we're excited to share this evening that AZA and BBG will relaunch there later this year. AZA and BBG, please join us in welcoming our dear friend and brother Olive, Rabbi Dan Moskovitz. Shalom BBYO! It is great to be home, but I gotta tell you, it's a lot bigger than it used to be. You are amazing. You know, I'm a rabbi in Vancouver, Canada. Is Canada here? We're a small but proud country. But before that, 30 years before that, I was honored to be the Grand Olive Cadol of AZA, this great order from my home region, Central Region West, Central Region West, are you here? And before that, I was, like many of you, just a simple olive in my chapter, Mahar AZA number 1887, are you here? And how about my nephew, Aaron Moskovitz, are you here? Call your parents, Aaron. So, I want to share with you a story. I want to share with you a story. It's my story, but it's your story too. Similar, I think, to lots of our stories. My story started with a game of catch. A game of catch. You see, I was 15 years old, and I was spending the summer at BBYO Kala in Starlight, Pennsylvania. Who's been to Starlight? I was 15 years old and I was having a horrible time. I missed my parents. It was hot. It was humid. I didn't know anybody. I'd only been there for a few days. And I'm not sure what I was doing spending my summer studying Judaism for four weeks. And so I called my parents and I said, take me home. Now one of the rabbis who was there at Kala on staff, he noticed me, he noticed how unhappy I was. And he sat with me at lunch. And through our conversation, he learned that I liked baseball and that he liked baseball. And so at Hofesh, at free time, he invited me to have a game of catch with him. You can learn a lot about a person during a game of catch. We talked about baseball, but we also talked about Judaism and Jewish leadership and what it means to be a Jew in today's world and a rabbi. The importance of being Jewish. And he also taught me how to throw a curveball. Because of that rabbi, Rabbi Bruce Aft, I stayed at Kala. Because of that rabbi, I ran for the I board. Because of that game of catch with a BBYO rabbi, I became a rabbi. I am here because someone noticed me, because someone showed up for me just like they showed up for you. Now, Scott Rogowski was just here. How awesome was that? So, let me drop a little Torah trivia on you, a little Jew HQ. Why did the ancient Israelites end up in Egypt? We know how they got out, but why did they get there? I'll tell you why. It was because of a nameless man, a man that the Torah only calls Ha'ish, the Sadeh, the man in the field. 
who gave Joseph directions when he was lost. You see, Joseph was out there searching for his brothers, and he was lost and wandering in the field, and this nameless man, he noticed him. And he went up to Joseph and he said, what are you looking for? And Joseph said, I'm looking for my brothers. And this man said they went that away towards Dothan. Now we know what happens. Joseph gets sold into slavery, ends up all these bad things, but then good things happen. He ends up as Pharaoh's assistant, his chief advisor in Egypt. When there was a famine in the land, it was because Joseph was there that he was able to help his brothers and the Jewish people and save them. And when they showed up and confronted him and he revealed himself, he said to them, you meant it for bad, but God meant it for good. We are a people. We are a Jewish people because of a nameless man who noticed a wandering Jew. I am a rabbi because of a BBYO rabbi a BBYO staff person who noticed me and took an interest in me. Now you can call that luck, you can call it coincidence, you can call it empathy, but I'll tell you what I think it is. I think that it is God working through each of us to make a difference in our lives. And so here is what I learned, BBYO. Here is what I learned from all of you. God shows up in our lives through the people that we meet. We are each of us wandering Jews. We are each of us that nameless man or woman, guy or girl that shows up for others. We are our brothers and sisters keepers. And together we will, together we will show up for each other. Together, we will stand up for Israel. Together, we will use the power of Sadaka to change the world. Together, we will stand up for the LGBTQ and those that are there out amongst us. BBYO showed up for me 30 years ago. He's showing up for you right now in every chapter, in every region, across this country, around the globe. You are the Ish. You are that nameless person that can make a difference. You are that rabbi playing catch. You are an extension of God in the world when the world needs the power of Jewish leadership and Jewish youth more than ever. Together we will. Together we will. Together we will. Together we will. God bless you, BBYO. Thank you to Rabbi Moskovitz for your wisdom and blessings. We deeply appreciate your being here with us this evening and are thrilled to welcome you back to BBYO. We look forward to embracing your leadership once again as we restore the BBYO movement in Vancouver next fall. Congressman Darren Soto is well known for being a committed civil servant, but tonight we learn that he is also a dedicated friend. Broward County Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz is a longtime friend of BBYO and was planning to join us in our celebration, but tonight she needed to be at home with her community in South Florida. And so, we are grateful to Congressman Soto for stepping up to take her place in welcoming us to Florida. He has been dedicated to public service for his entire career and is well known for being proud of his heritage and committed to the citizens he represents, principles that we in BBYO value enormously. Please welcome to the stage, Congressman Darren Soto. Thank you. Hello, BBYO! Are you all having fun? 
Well, I'm honored to represent Orlando, Florida, and we are so happy to have you all here tonight. You know, I see so many inspiring young Jewish leaders here in Orlando from 36 different countries from across the world. And I want to personally thank you for choosing here after going to Baltimore and to Dallas, here to the City Beautiful. Also, I want to thank you all so much for spending your day tomorrow doing community service for your Leeds Day throughout our district. On behalf of my over 800,000 constituents, we are so grateful for your service. I know that you'll have so much great things to do with leadership training this weekend, with leadership skills, with giving back, with paying forward, and with finding your passion. I know as someone who, I do what I love for a living and so I never work a day in my life and I wish you all the same opportunities. And who knows, one day I may see you and call you a colleague in Washington. So thank you so much again for being here. Thank you for inspiring everyone. And I wanna say finally that together we will, but I want you to fill in that blank this weekend. I want you to think about what that dream is gonna be. I want you to then commit to it, to work to it, think big, and together we can and we will change the world. Thank you everybody, welcome again to Orlando. BBYO, 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 BBYO. Thank you everyone, we appreciate you and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, Congressman. Your determination and commitment represents the qualities of character that we aspire to in our efforts as community leaders. We admire your public service and appreciate all that you do for the diverse community in Orlando and the world. Thank you again for being with us this evening and making us feel at home in Florida. Thank you, Thank you all for being here. Everyone, I'm so sorry that I can't be with you tonight, but I just wanted to take a moment to tell you how proud I am for your commitment to leadership, your commitment to service, the commitment to community, all of those things matter. And as you have fun with your friends over the next couple of days, what's really important is that you talk about how you're gonna find the power of your voice. Because when you find the power of your voice, you can actually change things. You can move things for the better. And we know you're all leaders and we know you're all meant for great things. So enjoy this time, but really decide how do you wanna change the world? What do you want your contribution to be? And then go make a difference. See you soon, God bless. Hello everyone, bonjour à tous, and welcome to the largest gathering of young Jewish leaders in the world. A big thank you to everyone who made this amazing event possible, and to all the young people here today, thank you, because you're building a better future for all of us. I've said it before, and I promise I'll say it again. Young people aren't just the leaders of tomorrow, you're the leaders of today. Canada is an unwavering friend and ally of Israel, and the Jewish community has taught us all about the values of tikkun olam, the duty to go out and repair the world. Now, we need your drive and vision to tackle the biggest challenges we face, whether fighting climate change or ending systemic racism, advancing gender equality, or creating inclusive communities. So find your voice, speak your mind, and work together, because we are stronger together. Every single one of you has the power to transform our world for the better. We can't wait to see what you'll do next. Je vous souhaite une très bonne conférence. Merci beaucoup. Thank you all.
Who's going home with the Al Sadiq Alice Max F Bear Spear Devil? Which BBGs are ready to win that Nita Perlman Spirit Cup? Will the olives of my home and my heart, Greater Atlanta Region, please present me with the Max F. Bayer Spear Gavel of AZA? Will the B'nai B'rith girls of Rocky Mountain Region please present the Anita Perlman Spirit Cup? Please welcome your IC 2018 Plenary Administrative Assistants, Jared Berkeley of Eastern Region, Virginia Council, and Gabby Gorwitz of Gold Coast Region. It's an inspiring time to be a part of BBYO. Each time we gather, we celebrate how our moment is putting down new roots in communities ac across the globe. We are so lucky to have the gift of sharing AZA and BBG with more and more teens each day. And every year at IC, we get to celebrate our order's breadth and depth, welcoming each of your delegations into our house for the week. So without further delay, it's time to get this party started. Let's begin the 2018 IC Roll Call. Le Leading the way from our chapters, regions, councils, and countries, please welcome the 93rd Grand Board of the Olive Zodic Olive and the 73rd International Board of the B'nai B'rith Girls. We are proud to stand with our brothers and sisters from around the world with unconditional support. Their commitment to their Judaism is inspiring, and we are honored to have them with us tonight. Representing our members worldwide, we proudly present to you tonight's international delegations. Starting things off, our powerhouse in South America, founding two new chapters this year, Please join us in welcoming Argentina! Argentina. Let's 
hear you yell for Belarus. Home to our very own first international chapter ever. More than 80 years ago, join us in welcoming Bulgaria. For the first time back in the family in more than 40 years, please welcome Colombia. Please welcome to the stage, Denmark! Give it up for Estonia! Make some noise for Finland! Get on your feet as we bring out Georgia! Our hearts are full as we welcome our friends from Germany! Having just elected their first chapter board, please welcome our friends from Hungary! We couldn't be more excited to welcome Latvia! Let's hear those cheers for Lithuania! We are thrilled to be joined by Macedonia! We present to you our amazing brothers and sisters from Moldova! It is our distinct honor to welcome our friends from Krakow and Warsaw, Poland. Please join us in welcoming our brothers and sisters from Russia. We are delighted to greet Serbia. With great pride, we welcome Slovakia. For the first time in more than 20 years, please welcome Spain. It wouldn't be IC without our friends from Switzerland. Home to two incredible chapters, Istanbul and Izmir, join us in cheering for Turkey. Please join us in welcoming the community that's been on fire this year, United Kingdom in Ireland! Please welcome your IC 2018 Operations Administrative Assistants, A.L. Catan of Mid-America Region, St. Louis Council, and Blair Wales of Wisconsin Region. Now please join us in celebrating ACA and BBG strength across North America as we begin our North American Roll Call. For the 
first time in over 30 years, please welcome our friends from Mexico! Go, 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 go! Big Apple Region! Central Region West! <laughs> Connecticut Valley Region! Cotton States Region! Virginia Council! Evergreen Region! Gold Coast Region! Great Midwest Region! Greater Atlanta Region! Greater Jersey Hudson River Region Central Council! River Region North Council! Guys, go! Greater Jersey Hudson River Region Northern Council! Hudson Valley Region! Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio Region! Ontario Region! Liberty Region! Lone Star Region! Manhattan Region! Miami Region! Michigan Region! Mid-America Region! Kansas City Council! AZA and BBG, esteemed guests and friends of BBYO, please join us as we now embrace our brothers and sisters from BBYO's sister movement in Israel, Maccabi Tzair. Joining Maccabi Tzair on stage is IC scholar in residence, member of Knesset, Omer Barlev. Over the past six years, Maccabi World Union and BBYO have become dear friends 
joining together to build bridges between tens of thousands of Jewish teams around the world and their Israeli peers. This summer, hundreds of BBYO members will travel to Israel with Passport to learn, explore, and connect. As they do on every visit to Israel, they will spend time with Maccabi Sayer as brothers and sisters. Maccabi Sayer, it brings us so much joy to have you here. To know your leaders as our shlichim and to have your staff lead our journeys throughout Israel. Knowing you as friends and loving you as family makes the work we're doing to strengthen Israel and the Jewish people an even greater blessing. May we always be able to celebrate our ancient proclamation, Am Yisrael Chai, together for countless generations to come. BBYO, please rise and join us in the national anthem of the Jewish people, Hatikva. pleasure to send greetings to this important gathering and to use this opportunity to thank you for everything you do in the field of Jewish education, Jewish identity, closer ties with the state of Israel, stressing the shared values that are so important to all of us. I do believe that your important work will make the ties between Israel and Jews living elsewhere even closer and we will always remember that our country that is turning 70 is the center of Jewish life for all Jews all around the world. We are 70, but there are still those who are not in peace and agreement with our very existence. So I know that your fight against BDS and other Israel haters is going on, and I wish you all all the success Your in this IC 2018 <laughs> plenary administrative assistance Sonia Holstein of Great Midwest Region and Tyler Dodd of Nassau Suffolk Region Our movement has so much to be thankful for Since we united in Dallas last February the year has been filled with incredible successes unprecedented growth and heartwarming movements for our BBYO family and the world at large. And 
the last year has also pushed us to reaffirm our Jewish values, recommit to taking action, and rediscover our common humanity with moments and movements that have changed us forever. Whether we were on video calls or FaceTimes, in basements or backyards, in JCCs or synagogues, in hotel ballrooms or the beaches of Tel Aviv, or under the lights of the tree at the Perlman camp, we found strength in our ability to come together beyond the confines of geography. We promised that the last year would be the start of big things, and it is clear that we changed the game with every program, every hour we served, and every phone call we made. As long as we're together, we knew we could be the voices, the leaders, and the doers. As we get ready to write the next chapter of BBYO's history, let's take one last look back on the year we've had. AZA and BBG, together we will!